Very in LA. Mm. I have, I'm wearing this e.l.f. Um, liquid lip. And it like, it feels really comfortable. Um, and I love it. But it dragged down a little too quickly. So the edges are a little messed up. Which is what I'm a little nervous about. We're gonna go eat Korean barbecue today. I'm looking a little natural. I didn't want to put on eye makeup and eyeliner, all that stuff. Because honestly, I'm getting tired of looking cute on a daily. So I'm just, you know, put on the regular that I have. My face, my eyebrows, and my lips. Um, and I'm wearing my sh um, glasses today also because um, getting tired of wearing contacts and having it like dry out on me half day. Uh, we just ordered our lift. To go to Castle Barbecue in Koreatown. Um, there's a 30% off discount for today and tomorrow using Lyft. I don't know why, but I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take advantage of it. I left this coming in two minutes, so we'll meet you at the barbecue place. We're here at Castle right now. Oh. So we got pork belly, bulgogi, and the beef brisket. Um, so we got the marinated beef bulgogi, the sliced pork belly, and <coughs> what the hell I want? The brisket. Oh yeah. Oh, I want miso soup. The bulgogi, which is like interesting because usually, oh, thank you. Usually the bulgogi is like really sweet, but this is like a sweet savory, and the meat is really like tender and like really nice to eat. So like this one, like this bulgogi is really. We're good. here in this like complex um, where there's dice. So I remember coming here before because there's this place called Chocolate Chair out in front where I tried the dry ice um, but in here there's Daiso that Hannah wanted to go to so I'm gonna go in there I think it's $1.50 it says unless it's marked differently these lashes don't look that bad or like these mm, or something more like I always pick the natural one and I feel like I fuck myself over Book bags are so cute. Oh my gosh, look at those. I wish I wouldn't be able to wear them. Oh my gosh. These neck pillows are kind of cute too. I can do the neck pillows. I can't do that school bag. I think someone would like brutally make fun of me for wearing that. I can choose. Oh my gosh. I don't know which one I want. I really like the acai one. Let me try to find that one. Oh, these are like... I'm just gonna get all different flavors. <gasps> they have frizzy. Um, But what I picked up thus far are these lashes and pen. <laughs> I don't know how, but we just spent like $50 in Daiso. But yeah, I don't know how we managed to spend that much. But we're gonna go to a big zoo cafe. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna go to Solenbin. Okay, cool. So we ended up not going to the Bingsu place because I was like, we can go to Bingsu kind of anywhere in the city as wait. well. It wasn't that long of a wait. I just felt like there was no point of waiting if we had it in the in city, the city also. Exactly. No. George? No. 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 Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go head down, head down to downtown LA, try a little damage, and then walk around the area there. So that's our next step. So yeah, it was chocolate chair that I was talking about, but I guess it's not even like a thing anymore. Oh shoot. That's interesting. No, it's not. Oh, it's reopening after renovation. So if y'all want to go to chocolate chair, it's not permanently closed, just renovating. Like what? Okay, we'll go shopping. Okay. okay. 
downtown L downtown LA. But it feels like I'm back home. Little damage. Oh, little damage. Oh, I do like it. Alpha Bini. Yeah. What did you get? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> what? Oh. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. Some damage. Mm. Little damage. <laughs> It tastes good. Mine is the uh, the mocha. Mocha. It's like the chocolate. Cute. Like your teeth will like whiter. It is really like the city. I really like. Oh my god, my lips. Yo, this is not cute. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I didn't go here for a date. Shoot. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I really like their waffle. I mean, their waffle, their cone. It's really good. Downtown LA. And it reminds me of home. There's like a lot. It seems a little bit more like ratchet and scarier here. Like me filming right now. Like me filming right now on the streets. I'm kind of like. Just about everything. I don't know. It just doesn't feel safe. Metro and like some like buildups, and there's finally like street lights to tell you when to like go and stuff, and not like traffic lights telling like just cars. I don't know. It feels nice, but it doesn't feel nice being here. Dude was trying to kind of like talk to me on the street, and my mom was like behind me, and she was getting like really anxious and stuff. I just felt trying to talk to me. I'm like, dude, I know how to handle these situations. It's not like this is the first time it's freaking happening. She just made everyone really like bitter and shit. Anyways, conclusion, I don't like downtown LA. It is not... It's not that. Oh my gosh. Um, but we're in the Grand Central Market right now. I think over here they just have like a lot of... Ooh! They just have like a lot of food and you know, I don't really even know what is here. It looked a little bit more popping on, on Google Maps. Get up in another Daiso that looks a lot bigger. Yeah, cause we're in like, or we're in Tokyo, quote unquote. Their bathrooms always in such shady, like alleyway, hallway stuff. Second floor in the plaza is this place called Dorcas and they have these really cute like no-show or like ankle socks. I think I'm gonna get the Guretama and then they also have like these like fuzzy Guretama ones and they're two for five. So I think I'm gonna oh these fuzzy Guretama ones because it's brick in New York. So I'm gonna snag some of them and then go inside and see what else they have. This place reminds me of Elizabeth Center. In Chinatown. School, yeah, not right now, Elizabeth Center. Look at these. This is so cute. They're yeah, huge. I want this. Six quarters to play, mother. That's a lot. But that's what will probably cost. What in the world? I know, but still. I have these like um, sticker photo things, and it costs freaking eleven dollars. It was only like. Five dollars in Korea, and I thought that was expensive. But anyways, I want to go inside this home mart. It looks really cool. These are the traditional Korean pillows that I had when I was in Jeonju, and I love it because they're like, you know, they're like sturdy and shit. And I really like sturdy pillows. I hate soft pillows, but I didn't know they were gonna be here. I wanted like these low tables because I always like the idea of like sitting and eating. Yeah, like that way I don't have to have chairs and stuff and extra furniture. Um, but I guess when I have like my own place, I'll figure that out. Oh my God, they have electric mats. So your ass won't be cold. 
This is when you're like sitting on the floor. Oh, they have electric blankets here too. I feel like this place is owned by Koreans, not by. Okay, because I heard the guy talking. Wait, but this is Japan Mart. This coffee machine that's like. Sorry, no good? Or maybe someone put sorry and then no good and then I someone else added sorry. a question mark. Sorry, no good. Question mark because they didn't know whether it was like good or not good. No, like if the machine was working, like how people will understand if the machine was working or not. Oh, uh, mom, we're gonna go upstairs. I think upstairs all it has is like food stuff, but I want to still look around. They have like Korean barbecue. Let's see. What is that? Is that an arcade? Can we go in there? It looks like an arcade. Yeah, because I don't think I'll have interest in food right now because I'm so full. This place looks pretty cool. Oh wait, is there someone that has to like greet me when I'm in here? What does it say? They check ID, whatever. I like toy arcades. How much is it? It's a dollar. Why do you think it's so expensive? Well, I think this one's easier to get. Cause like that one you could get. The brown one right there you probably get. That one you could get. It says Extreme Game Zone. It's dead at. Oh my god! It's like David Buster's. But like a smaller version, I guess. Oh, they have DDR. Yeah, it's like a much smaller version of David Buster's. So we kind of walked through that whole like arcade thing and I walking back forward and I kind of want to do the karaoke place. Oh, it's like a little booth but it looks like fun. There's like people sitting in front of the damn room and I don't want people to hear me. We just finished with the little plaza. I don't know if you have to see it but we just finished that plaza and now we're gonna go to... It's, it's a tea shot? Tea shot. Tea shot for boba. Oh my god, I'm starting to say boba now. Um, for Yeah, for a bubble tea. Um, it looks kind of like fancy. It has kind of like um, layers of drinks or layers of like juices that I thought was kind of interesting. Um, there's also like it's boba time and boba time nearby. But since we tried that already, I wanted to give another shot. I wanted to give another place a shot. So we're giving tea shot a shot. Like what I see with it. I ended up going to milk and tea instead and it's really cool because you get to have like a glass jar and then you get to put in like the amount of toppings you want like bubble and all the others. You just leave it there and you put your drink. My own straw. Ha ha ha. You see how it tastes? This? Boba's like it's really soft and chewy but I feel like the boba is like, it's infused with like some kind of like sugar. Well, no way. No way. That's it. What's in there? The little Tokyo is like, it's not the sweetest tea, so I really like it. <laughs> 